Hey guys, it's Vaughn and this is a massive haul video. I haven't done a haul video probably since 2011 or 2012. So it's been a really long time, but I wanted to do this haul video because I went shopping quite a bit in the last week, I'll say. And I got a lot of new stuff that I wanted to share with you guys. So it's mostly going to be just makeup, toiletries, and some shoes that I got. So I hope you guys do enjoy this video. If you do like these kind of collective haul videos, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. Um, and then I'll do more. So for starters, I'm actually preparing, I'm in the process of packing right now, I'm preparing for two back-to-back -back trips that I'm about to take actually starting tomorrow. So I went like shopping for things that I needed for the trip. I'm going to be gone away from my home for um, a pretty long time. So I want to make sure I have everything I need in terms of clothing and toiletries and stuff like that. I needed to go to Sephora to like re-up on all of my makeup that I ran out of. So that's why I did all this shopping like within a week. Normally I would not be doing this much shopping. So first I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about my look today. My hair, actually I'm loving it so, so much. This is freshly clean and twisted hair. It's a little bit shrunken. Um, what I've done is just pulled it up into like a uh, kind of a messy kind of bun for the back. So I just use like a really oversized um, rubber band and just pulled the hair up. But I'm loving the texture of my hair. It's so moisturized, it is so soft, and I'm gonna show you guys the products that I use to achieve it. So for this hairstyle today, I'm using some products that are kinda of new to my regimen. The first one that I'm gonna show you guys is a product that was sent to me from ecocoinc.com. These are the folks that make Eco Styler Gel. So I got a bunch of Eco products that I didn't even know existed on the market. I'm so used to the Eco Styler Gel, but I didn't realize that they had actually some conditioning, curling, and styling products. So this one that I used is the Eco Natural Conditioning, Curling, and Styling Cocktail with olive oil and shea butter. They had me at shea butter. It smells like um, kind of coconutty, fruity, you know, your typical uh, natural hair product smell, to be honest. Um, it's a really creamy texture. It goes on the hair really wet, so that's how you get like that kind of shrunken look. So that's, that, that's what I would say would be the downfall of the product, is if you're not looking for shrunken, shorter looking hair, then you probably don't want to use this because you are going to get a lot of shrinkage because it's a very wet product. But to its defense, it's very, very moisturizing. So my, my curls are very like hydrated, bouncy, super defined. My curls just feel really, really smooth um, because they're so moisturized after using this product. So this is a wonderful, wonderful twist out product. I love it so much. And then in conjunction, I just use a little bit of some raw shea butter. Now this is just a little concoction that my aunt made for me. It's just like shea butter and some essential oils. I've used it a few times in conjunction with some other styling products and it works wonderfully. So these next few products I got from Carson's. I was just shopping there looking for you know a very specific thing and I came across these uh, candles that were in like the aisles near the um, beauty and fragrance section. These are just some sorbet candles. I was taken by the look of them. They've got this beautiful green ribbon and then like this um, this little metallic detail here. It looks like a little button. They just look so pristine and it looks so nice like to have these in your house. So where I have these now is in my master bathroom, kind of just like on the countertop. They're so pretty like when they're right next to each other like this. The smell of them kind of just smells like a clean bathroom to be honest. Like there's no really specific smell. I think there's supposed to be some kind of lemon aroma but they really just smell like a really clean, freshly clean bathroom. Um, I forgot how much I paid for them, but I think they were maybe like two for 10 or something like that. Next while at Carson's, the actual reason I went there was to pick up a pair of flats. And turns out once I got to Carson's, they actually had a sale happening at that time. So I was able to pick up these shoes for 20% uh, off. So that was really, really awesome. These are by Lucky Brand. I was just looking for a simple uh, flat that had um, like that nude kind of um, color to it. So I picked up these from Lucky Brand. They're just like a leather. I think these are genuine leather. Hell, they cost enough to be genuine leather. They're just like a nude color. It kind of matches with my skin tone a bit because my feet right now, I haven't gotten any sun, so my feet are really light. And they're really comfy. Um, and I just wear a seven and a half. So I picked these up. These shoes were originally like, um, like I don't know, maybe 60 something dollars, but they were 20% off, so I did get a pretty good deal. So I went to Walgreens just to kind of replenish some of the things that I needed for my travel. So I picked up um, this Olay lotion. This is the Quench Body Lotion Ultra Moisture with Shea Butter, Vitamins E, and B3. As you guys can see, there's kind of a trend happening with things that I buy. Like I love Shea Butter in products. That's just like my thing. It works so well with my skin. So I just got this Olay uh, lotion that I'm gonna be taking with me on my trips. Um, it's in a 8.4 fluid ounce bottle, but I'm going to be checking my bag for all of the stops that I'm making, so I don't really care. Next, I just picked up some face tissues. These are by Nice. 
um, a Walgreens brand. I just got these to throw into whatever bag I decide to take um, just to have on hand because I'm one of those people who always has like a runny nose. I always have to blow my nose, like all kinds of stuff. My eyes will water. I'll need to wipe them. So I, I always have to have tissue on me. And I'd rather have a soft face tissue that's designed for the face than using like a restaurant napkin or something like that, which is normally what I do. I needed um, another moisturizer for my face. So I decided to try a night cream because I never used a night cream before. So I picked up this Burt's Bees night cream. It's in Radiance and it's made with royal jelly. I'm not even sure what that is. I'm going to have to look at the box that this came in to read up on the ingredients. But just looking at the color of it and the creamy consistency, I, I just fell in love with it. I'm like, I have to have this for night to moisturize my face. I just have to have it. It just smells like honey and like shea butter type of fragrance. I love Burt's Bees products. I usually use their um, chapsticks. So I decided to try this when I saw it on the shelf. Um, this was a pretty pricey to be so small. I mean, you only get two ounces of product. This was like $16. But I've used it already twice. And my skin has felt so, so nice in the morning. I have not had to moisturize as heavily in the morning due to this. So I've only used it like two times. So I can't like say, you know, thumbs up or thumbs down, but so far so good. Next, I just picked up um, a refill on my Venus Gillette uh, razor blades. I normally just use like the regular blades that come with the Venus razor. But for this one, since I'm traveling so much back to back, I didn't want to have to be bothered with shaving cream or anything like that. So these ones actually come with the cream built into um, the head so you don't need any shaving cream all you need is the blade and like that's it but just make sure that it's fully dry before you go to pack it because these things get really slimy and 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 gooey when they get wet so just make sure it's completely dry before you pack it so you don't make a mess in your luggage and then lastly from Walgreens I picked up this Revlon tweezer my other tweezers that I had gotten were really like cheap little tweezers like little off brands um, and they stopped working like they stopped gripping the hairs I don't know if they got bent or what happened I don't know but they stopped doing a good job so I just went to Walgreens I said forget it, I'm gonna get a good brand so I got this Revlon tweezer they would end up being like ten or eleven dollars for this one tweezer but I don't care because I just need the thing to freaking work. I don't get my eyebrows professionally done. I don't get them razored. I tweeze them. That's how I maintain my brows because it has longevity and it just works for me. I'm so used to it. I'm comfortable with it. I just love tweezing my brows. So I had to have a good tweezer. This one grips every single little tiny hair without a problem. No pain. At least for me, I, I don't feel much pain. So I love these. So I got this from Walgreens. Next, I'm going to show you guys some stuff I got from Walmart. I just saw it and I just couldn't resist it. You guys know I use a lot of Shea Moisture products and I've never really had to like buy Shea Moisture products because they send me so much stuff all the time for videos and stuff. Um, but because I love the products so much, I end up just buying them myself when I see them out because um, if I run out, I'm not gonna wait for someone to ship me products. I'm just gonna buy them when I see them. So I got these two bars of Shea Moisture soap. So what they look like, this one is the Fruit Fusion Coconut Water Energizing Shea Butter Soap. This is actually what caught my eye and made me go over to the Shea Moisture section. Because this smells so fantastic. And I love bar soap, okay? I love to travel with bar soap. I don't know, something about it. I'm really kind of old-fashioned. I prefer bar soap over liquid soap. Sometimes it just depends. Um, so I really wanted to try this one. I have never tried this mixture before. And then the other one is just the coconut and hibiscus shea butter soap. I've used almost, I think probably all of the coconut and hibiscus products from Shea Moisture. So, and I've used this soap before, so I just wanted to refill this. And then I did get um, a liquid uh, soap here. I got the um, Fruit Fusion Coconut Water Energizing Bubble Bath and Body Wash with MB Oil and Aloe. So I did get this one because I like to use it more so as a... Um, a bubble bath in conjunction with this, the bar soap. So I probably won't necessarily wash up with this. My husband probably will because he's always reaching for my shea, my shea moisture stuff. But I'll probably just use this for a bubble bath. Next from Walmart, I actually picked up some things for my trip. Um, I got this pair of flip-flops or shower shoes because I don't I don't think I have any flip-flops left over from last year. I think I threw all of them away because they get so tore up and everything. But that's okay because I don't spend a lot of money on flip-flops. As you can see, these were only $3.46 from Walmart. But I got them just because I like the plastic ones just in case I need to use them in a, a shower. Um, or if I need to like get them wet or like if I'm going to be on the beach in the sand or something. I don't like to get really expensive flip-flops unless I know I'm not going to need them for like wet activities. So I got these for those wet activities. And then I also got from Walmart, this is an athletic bag from the brand Russell. And this bag was only $18.88. I got this because I'm gonna be traveling for work uh, tomorrow. So I'm gonna, gonna be going to Phoenix. 
Um, and then I'm, I'm going to take two laptops with me, one for work and then one for my personal use. So I don't want to put all that weight in my luggage, my roll-on luggage, because I'm going to be checking in. I don't want it to be like too heavy. I don't want to be carrying my laptop bag because that's a lot of weight just like on one arm, plus my bag, like my purse. So I just figured I'd get a book bag so I could put it on my back and have a more, more of a comfy, um, more of a comfy feel. So I just got this one and it has like a pocket here for the laptop. I'm probably just going to put my MacBook Pro in here because my work laptop is like this big bulky old ass Dell and I don't think it's going to fit in this pocket. So I'm just going to put that one in my luggage, put my MacBook in this one and then all the rest of my uh, electronics like my cameras and stuff I'm going to put in uh, the big section. After I leave from Phoenix, I'm going to be traveling to DC, like from Phoenix to DC, to visit with my sister for a few days. And I'm going to be vlogging too, so you guys stay tuned for that. I'm going to be sharing um, my travel experience with you guys. Next on my list, I stopped by Forever 21. I was actually looking to find some flats in Forever 21, but I didn't. And I ended up going to Carson's and finding them. But I went in there with the mindset of looking for flats. And while I was there, I didn't find any flats, but I found these cute sandals. And um, I couldn't resist. Um, this is actually my first time buying a pair of shoes from Forever 21. They're super, super lightweight. But I got them because they have a really small, chunky heel. Um, they've got the cute faux leather straps on there. I love this. I feel like a lot of my clothing has like that kind of bohemi feel to it. Um, kind of rugged, country, she kind of vibe. And this would just go perfect with my summer wardrobe. Plus I'm going to Miami in a couple of weeks. And I know we're going to be doing a lot of walking around. And these will be perfect for that. Um, so I just picked these up and I don't remember what they cost. Well, it says here they were $24.90, which is a lot more than I would expect to pay for some shoes from Forever 21, but I wanted these so bad, I just did not care. Next for shoes, I picked up, well, I actually ordered these online because it's just so convenient and easy. Um, these Ivanka Trump shoes from Bloomingdale's. And I ordered these because I'm having a very special party um, in about two weeks. And I wanted these shoes specifically for the party. I actually ordered a really pretty dress for the party as well. Um, but it hasn't arrived yet. So here are the shoes. These are, first of all, when I was looking on the website, scrolling through their sandal selections, th these were the first ones I saw. I immediately like had to gasp for air when I saw them and I ordered them right away. I, I just couldn't even see any other shoes beyond this one. So these were love at first sight. I love the champagne gold kind of speckled look of the shoe. It's like all around it. Every inch of it has that, that kind of iridescent glow. And then I love the tassel fringe that's all around. Now this part um, kind of straps around your ankle and then the rest of this ties up the leg. I wouldn't go beyond the calf muscle, um, but it's up to you whatever your personal style is. The string is definitely long enough to reach. I just absolutely love these shoes. They fit absolutely perfectly on my feet. Like it's almost like they were tailor made for me. I love them. One of the women who ordered these had put a review on the site saying that they kind of flop in the back. Do It kind of feels like a flip flop due to the design of the straps. And when I saw that I was like, is that going to bother me? You know, but once I got them and tried them on, it actually doesn't. It actually makes for better uh, balance and support with the shoe. I can't really explain it, but once I put it on, I was like, oh, well, that little flapping um, situation is happening. It's not really bothering me that much. It's actually making me feel like I can walk more sturdy with these shoes. So I don't know how to really explain it, but it just felt more sturdy for me. So I love these. Cannot wait to wear them. I'm going to wear them with an all white dress. Um, and so these will be kind of like that nude. It's still, it's still nude with still a little bit of color and a little bit of sparkle. Just enough to really stand out. So I can't wait to wear these. They were um, like $145, which for Bloomingdale shoes, you know, because they get a lot of high-end brands, that's actually a really good price. So next I'm going to show you guys some, well this is actually the last thing I'm going to show you, some beauty products that I got from Sephora. Um, I ended up kind of splurging a little bit on this Sephora purchase, but that's because I waited so late to replenish my beauty products, so I had to just kind of go in and go all out. What t it turns out I only ended up replenishing like a few things, maybe like one or two things, and then the rest were just things that I liked when I saw them. So it's really no excuse for how much money I spent in Sephora yesterday. The first thing that I picked up is this Becca uh, Luminous Blush in, bl in Blushed Copper. I had to have this because lately I've really been into glowy looks, especially for the summer. I really like the packaging. It's like really dark brown matte, velvety feel to it, and it's got like that metallic in the middle that's so pretty. I hope you guys can see that. It is the most beautiful bronzy blush color. I cannot wait to wear this. I'm actually going to wear this as blush, but I'm also going to run it down the bridge of my nose, a little bit on the middle of my forehead, because I think that this is going to really complement my shade of, of skin tone. 
beyond just a blush. The next thing that I picked up was um, something that I had been hearing girls talk a lot about on YouTube and I had to try it. Normally I wear my um, uh, Dior Show mascara because it's just really, really dark black and I just, you know, you get into a group of using a particular product, you just keep on using it. But I wanted to try this one, so when I ran out of the Dior Show, I picked up this um, Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. People have been raving about this product all over YouTube. It's supposed to increase the volume of your lashes by 1944%. That's just an incredible amount of volume. So I cannot wait to try this. I'll be trying this immediately. <laughs> the next product that I'm going to show you guys is what I'm actually wearing on my lips today. I actually have three different lip colors on my lips today. Um, I'm wearing Night Moth as my liner because I'm trying to create kind of like that ombre effect and it also helps your looks, lips look a little more plump and stuff. So I have that on first and then I have this lip gloss that I'm going to show you and then in the middle I've got a little bit of um, uh, MAC uh, Snob. So three different things but here is the lip gloss. It's by Tarte. It's called Tartius Lip Paint. It's a creamy matte um, lip color which I am absolutely in love with. It is so lightweight. You Sometimes you feel like when you put on matte lips, lip colors it has to be like so heavy and drying, but this actually feels really lightweight. It feels almost like a lip balm. The only thing I would say is that when you put it on, make sure that you blot right between the seam of the lips so you don't get that kind of like build up, that residue there. But other than that, this will last you for hours at a time. Awesome lip color. Next, I picked up a foundation brush. This is a Sephora brand foundation brush. I needed one of these because I like to apply my uh, concealer with a foundation brush and the one that I currently have is like really really small and so it takes like a long time to apply so I'm like you know what I just need to get like a bigger foundation brush so I got this one this is like a medium sized one so I'm just gonna go ahead and take it out of the packaging so I can show you guys what the brush looks like they have this in here like military grade seal like what this is like requiring me to like almost feel like I need to go get scissors and that is just too much for a damn brush so like I almost broke a sweat just opening this brush. Jeez. Anyway, this is what it looks like. It's a very lightweight um, foundation brush. It has the synthetic fibers here at the top. I like that it's like kind of elongated and it's tapered right at the tip there. This is going to be really nice applying my concealer. <laughs> this was one of the, the refills that I needed to get from Sephora. So this is just my tattoo liner by Kat Von D. I'm actually wearing it today, uh, the older one that I just threw away today because that was the last of it. Um, so I got this new one. I use it a lot in my makeup tutorial videos. Um, so you guys have seen it before. It's just like that felt tip pin. Very precise. Very easy to um, apply the product to your eyelid. It's really difficult to make a mistake with this eyeliner. I love it. It's super, super dark black. It has a matte finish. The color is Trooper. It's waterproof. Um, and it's just everything you need. She also has a liquid one that's pretty good as well. And last but not least with the Sephora um, shopping spree that I did um, is my nail color for today. I don't know if you guys noticed my nail color. I am head over heels in love with this nail color. It's by Formula X and the color is Intrigue. And I am intrigued, okay? This is a beautiful nail color. It's very, very neutral. It's kind of like a little bit of gray, a little bit of purple. It looks almost kind of nude. So you can kind of get away with wearing it as a nude depending on your skin tones. That will conclude my um, massive haul for you guys today. Let me know if there are any questions. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.